What's up guys and welcome to another tutorial video. Today we're going to be doing Mew. It's pretty straightforward Pokemon and this is the reference photo that we're going to be using and if you like these tutorial videos definitely check out the live classes you can see here pick your favorite Pokemon Disney character and you get a 3D printed, 3D design, I help you out during class it's a totally live session definitely check that out link in the description below anyway let's get started so we have the feet and we're gonna start there so I like grabbing a half here I'm going to actually stretch that out just like this and then let's color it pink um, that's not the right pink that's right pink there we go he has pretty long feet then for his thigh or his leg I'm going to use a uh, sphere and I'm gonna kind of grow that because it does if you look at the picture it's um kind of a longer thigh if you want like um you know some different reference photos it's really important to go through Google images and check out like the different reference photos anyway uh, we can kind of do something like this maybe even rotate that a little bit forward, make it a little bit bigger. And if you need to, I kind of recommend maybe adding like a joint here. And maybe, maybe I rotate it. Uh, let's see. I think I rotate it the wrong way. Let's go rotate it this way. So I make mistakes that you guys uh, don't have to. I think that looks about right. Let's go ahead and group that together. Should color pink when you group. All right, so that's one leg. We're gonna copy paste that leg over. And if you need to have, or if you wanna kind of mirror it, then it's a good idea to uh, do that for the body. Now, instead of using a sphere, if you notice that like it kind of curves up like there's a neck area that's a little bit um, more shallow so we're going to try to emulate that and by that I mean we're going to uh, instead of using a sphere for the body I love the egg. The egg works really really well and you'll see that it has like a, a curved neck right there and then we'll move this down because hit, hit um, his uh, lower body it's actually pretty low to the ground let's see if we can find a, a ground picture he's he's usually always floating in the air but if you can see that's like this bottom part right here is pretty pretty low so make sure when you're placing it, it should be about right there <clears throat> and then we'll be stretching this out stretching this out and again, making the adjustments. If you need to, and it helps, you can make you can color this, and that kind of helps out a little bit. Now for the neck, um, you can kind of try stretching it, but I personally think you might need a little bit of a smaller neck. So you can go ahead and grab like a sphere, and then also try stretching that out a little bit. Maybe even make this taller and bring that in and try to you know see where the curvature of the, the egg is and then try to match try to match that if it helps again coloring it pink really helps out and that's going to be our neck and again you're going to make the adjustments here and you kind of want to make sure everything's kind of centered so I'm looking here and making sure that the legs are centered, the neck is kind of centered, and I'm looking at this center line right here. Okay. Now for the head, uh, it's a pretty oval head, so let's make sure that's uh, pretty oval. So I'm going to grab a sphere, I'm going to hold shift, drag that up, and then we're going to oval it out a little bit, <clears throat> just like this nothing too fancy we color this pink just like that looks pretty good I think his head is actually a lot bigger 
and again we're going to refer back to the photo so his head is much bigger than his body see how much bigger it is so make sure you make his head pretty big not too big uh, but pretty big I think that's about right control C control V let's make his like little nose he doesn't really have a mouth but he does have kind of a snout it sticks out maybe if you want to say rotate that just a little bit and that kind I think that's going to give us most of the look that we want again I'm making the adjustments and checking and I want to make sure that it's totally centered I'm looking at these center lines here it's kind of helpful especially with Tinkercad to look at the center lines now let's uh, so let's go ahead and group the body so I'm going to highlight everything group the body and I'm going to group the head separately and you'll see why in just a second but anyway I want to do the eyes so the eyes you know it has like a flat bottom so round roof obviously so we'll do this make them a little bit taller we got to make sure this is going to be touching I want it to now you got to you know, for this part you want to make sure it's sticking out just like how I'm doing right now and I know it's not looking right and you're probably wondering what am I doing and I'll show you just a little bit exactly how to make his eyes so I'm going to copy this make this smaller position it about right there that looks good let's make this blue because it's blue here and maybe even a darker blue if we need to that looks about right let's grab a cylinder so grabbing a cylinder I'm gonna rotate this in 90 degrees you can also type in 90 if you need to by clicking on the number and again I'm gonna make this a lot smaller And I'm going to put this about right there. Going to stretch that. I need to make sure everything is, is touching the head. Now, let's see. And then make maybe, maybe make this a little bit smaller. And again, referring back to the photo, it looks like it's in uh, kind of like this area. I'll make this white. Actually, I'm going to make this a hole because I have the white back here so I'm going to group and I'm going to yeah let's group um let's group just the blue part and see how that works we're going to group so I made a hole okay and then I'm going to do the same thing I'm going to uh, duplicate and repeat hole I'm going to hold shift and then group so I made a hole in the white you can actually see that that looks really good so then I'm going to uh, hold shift and click control C control V I'm going to make sure to move this over and again looking for making sure it's really important this part to center the eyes so I'm looking at the center line right now making sure everything's centered I'm gonna go ahead and mirror this just like that then for the head control C control V hole box and this is where it's all gonna start making sense so the eyes are sticking out it kinda of looks like uh, one of those squeeze doll like with his eyes popping out so let's go ahead and group hole okay so I made a, a little cavity for the head I'm gonna place this exactly over the head okay it's gotta be perfect this is not perfect this is not perfect that is not perfect and for some reason it's not perfect but uh, it's, it's pretty close to uh, pretty close to perfect let's let's actually start over because that's not perfect so going to control C control V and then I'm gonna grab a box making sure the box is much bigger than the head 
I actually need to make this a whole. Put that over. Group. Whole. And then put this over the head. Just like that. It needs to... Let's see if I can get this a little bit better. Well, let's try and see if it works. I'm going to group that. Let's cut the eyes back. Let's do multicolor. And it didn't work on the exact way I wanted it to. And so I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually gonna um, stre stretch that one over. Let me stretch that one over. Okay, that that looked um, much better. Let's go ahead and group and see what happens. Then I'm gonna hit multicolor. And what do you know? Worked out pretty good. That looks like a pretty good eyes. Awesome. So. Let's go back and let's do the ears. I think he has some pretty pointy ears, so I like the um, paraboloid for the ears. And we're gonna go ahead, kind of maybe not stretch it out too much. He does have some pretty pronounced ears. I'm just gonna put that there. And I'll we'll color this pink. That looks pretty good. Uh, maybe move this up a little bit. And then flip this to the other side. Mirror. And again, I'm making really sure that the ears are exactly right. I'm going to use a keyboard too. And different views to check. And that looks really good. Um, his arms, I think I'm going to do the same thing. Let's go ahead and bring that down. And we'll rotate this. Let's stretch that out. Maybe make it a little bit taller. I like that for the arms. And then we'll bring us to the other side. And as you can see, he's really starting to come together. Or she, whatever. It's He actually transforms a lot, so. I don't think uh, Mew has a gender. And so for the tail. Let's check the tail. So it's pretty windy tail. So you guys have different options. I think that if you guys wanted to, you can use this uh, SVG Revolve. That works out pretty good. Sometimes it kind of change. But um, I personally like going to all and then going to page. Let's go to page 16. And doing banana, I'm gonna turn the curvature all the way. We're gonna stretch that out. Then I'm going to let's rotate this, and then maybe even rotate. Let's say 90 degrees, making sure it says 90. Oh, wrong 90. Let's say uh, negative 90. There we go. Then we'll go ahead and move this up. And it's not quite right just yet. So let's grab that. Now it curves the other way. So let's mirror this banana. And then we'll go ahead and put that over the other one. That's going to give us our kind of a, a cool little curve. So we'll group that together. Pink. And then we'll get this into position. Actually, I like that. Let's. I forgot. He actually has like a little nub on the end of the tail. So we're going to ungroup this. You'll see why. So I'm going to Control C, Control V. And then let's make this a lot smaller. But we'll go ahead and put this onto the tail. Let me turn the curvature. Uh, way down if we need to. Yeah, that looks about looks about right. And I might even need to curve it the other way. Yeah, there we go. Now that looks like a Mew tail, so we'll go ahead, group that together, and make this pink, and then we'll rotate this this way. It's going to give us uh, pretty close, and his tail's super long. I think it's even bigger than his body. Yeah, it's longer than his body, so. Make sure your tail is really, really long. And there we go. That's Mew. So definitely check out the 
live classes. Uh, you get you and your classmates get to choose whatever you want to make in class, uh, including Mew, if you want to make Mew. And hopefully I'll see you guys soon. So, see you guys in the next video. Hope you enjoyed this one. Check it out. Link in the description.